So Halloween 2 by Rob Zombie. Got the cover for Halloween 1. Get this guy out. Now I have two versions of Halloween 2 because they did release the theater edition, theatrical edition, and the unrated director's cut. And I bought both. And the reason why I bought both, let me get some of the glare off of that. The reason why I bought both is because I think that. So, Halloween 1 and 2, the originals, favorite. Then I like 4, and I like H20. My next favorite is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I prefer the unrated over the theatrical, but I enjoy both. And this is, again, a movie I saw twice in the theaters. Very different Halloween film. Very brutal Halloween film. But, things I like about it. And, you know, I'll talk about the white horse doesn't bother me. It explains at the beginning of the film what the white horse is. I don't understand why people still have a problem with it. Um, I like the fact that this movie was very realistic um, in terms of yeah, it's over. It, there was a little bit of, you know, acting, big acting is what you want to call it probably um, from Scout Taylor Compton who plays Laurie Strode very differently. Um, she's no longer the, you know, shy girl that she was in the first movie. Um, she's been through a traumatic, you know, situation where she lost her friends, her parents, and she's in a dark place. I think it worked better in the unrated because it was two years later. Um, I think with the original uh, theatrical cut, you know, being one year later didn't really gel very well because, you know, it seemed like more time had gone by. Um, the fact that Lori's in therapy, that she's got all these tattoos, that she's very rebellious, that she's living at the Brackett house. I mean, there's a lot, um, there's a lot, it seems like it's a longer period of time than one year. So I, that's one thing I love about the unrated is that it was two years later. Um, but, uh, her reactions were very realistic to me. A lot of people said, oh, she swears too much. I'm like, so what? You know, she's playing a, she's not playing a, a Jamie Lee Curtis uh, doppelganger. She's, she's playing a new version of Lori, one that fits into the Rob Zombie universe. I also love the fact that Michael was living off the land, that he was kind of out in the middle of nowhere. A lot of people didn't like that, but, you know, the Hobo Myers is such a... I think it's probably one of the most definitive looks from Michael since the original. I mean, he is very creepy as the Hobo Myers. He's kind of out in the middle of nowhere living off the land. I mean, when he kills the farmer and his family and eats the dog, that's just, you know... That made more sense to me. As much as I like H20, if H20 was supposed to take place after the original Halloween 2, yet, granted, it's 20 years later, why did Michael look like he had just... You know, like, he was, had, had new coveralls, new masks, new everything. This looks like Michael was rough looking. His mask is all messed up. He's all dirty looking. It's more realistic. Um, I still love H20, but I'm just saying, for people to say that it was, that they didn't like that look or that didn't make sense, it does make sense. Um, there, there, uh, the other thing people don't like about this is, you know, the fact that uh, Loomis is so much more of an asshole in it. Um, he had touches of it in um, Zombie's original film, but in this one, he's even more so. Um, I liked it. Um, I think the strength of Malcolm McDowell as an actor made it believable um, because he can play those kind of characters and that kind of role. Um, we hadn't seen Loomis like that before. Um, Pleasance, you know, Pleasance was nowhere near this kind of person, but there's hints of it in Rob Zombie's original that Loomis was out for the fan. The, being a, he was out for people um, being interested in him, you know, what he had written, and he failed Michael on a grand scale compared to the Loomis from the originals, because the Loomis from the originals was still Michael's doctor, and... Rob Zombie's Halloween, the original, or Rob Zombie's first Halloween movie, Loomis walks away and just says, I can't do anything for you anymore. Because now he says, well, I've now he's got the book and he's got all this and he writes a new book in this one. And uh, yeah, so yeah, Loomis was never out for, for Michael, for helping. He was out for himself. Um, 
the violence in this movie, I think, is tamer compared to um, the original Halloween, uh, with the exception of some of the scenes at the beginning in the hospital, especially where Michael kills the nurse. That was rough. I still think it's one of the roughest scenes. The grunting that people have a problem with where Michael is grunting, he grunted in the originals. Um, watch Halloween 1 again. He grunts. He makes noises. Um, maybe it's a little bit overdone here, but it didn't bother me. He's a savage in this. Um, I also thought, I also that, thought that, uh, that Brad Dorff was amazing in this film as Sheriff Brackett. I mean, he wasn't really in uh, Rob Zombie's original very much. Just, you know, a couple of scenes towards the end of the film, uh, interaction with Loomis. But this movie, you know, you see the guilt he has because it's just all over his face. And uh, Dorff is such a great actor, and I think he does such a great job in this movie. He almost becomes the Loomis figure of the originals, in my opinion, in this film. Sheriff Brackett was never a huge character in the other films. So, you know, for them to expand on him and, you know, have such a great actor like Brad Dorff play him, I mean, he just stands out to me in this. And I think Zombie really improved his directing in this. I mean, he there's some great overhead shots of Michael walking through a field, like this giant field with trees all around him. And some of these shots where, you know, you see young Michael talking for older Michael where it's like a vision. I thought it was all very interesting. Um... Now, of course, the movie's ending and the unrated and the theatrical are very different. Um, so, given what, you know, I mean, who knows what Halloween 3 is going to be like. I prefer the unrated ending to the theatrical ending, but in terms of a sequel, um, if they are going to carry on from how the theatrical ending went, um, it's going to be curious, I'm going to be curious to see what they what they do with it in H3 if they follow Todd Farmer's original script, which was to carry on from H2. Um, but again, I love H2. I like it in both theatrical and unrated. Prefer the unrated, but that's just because I, I like unrated cuts, and I like to see what the director's vision originally was before it you know changes. So for me, I have no problem with H2. A lot of people do. Sometimes I don't understand why, um, but everybody has their own opinions. So, finally, I'm going to talk about now Halloween 25 Years of Terror documentary. Um, this is a very good documentary. Um, not my favorite. Um, I do prefer um, um, Psycho Legacy and uh, the, uh, the Jason. Uh, his name was Jason, but that's because I was... I just I'm more a uh, fan of those than this one, but this one is still good. Um, this came out before the Rob Zombie films, so this um, goes through the original Halloween series one through um, Resurrection, which uh, it's, it's a good thing though. It's got uh, panels where they had the uh, 25 anniversary, 25th anniversary in Pasadena, so you get to see panels with uh, the cast and crew. Um, Mustafa Cad was there. Um, it's really cool, and it's just. Uh, it's a nice little cap off to the series, um, the original series, so another good find. So um, that's my breakdown of the Halloween series. It took a lot more videos than I expected, but uh, please feel free to watch them, give me your feedback, and let me know what you think about these films. Um, I will have a new one next week. I'm going to do one each week until Halloween. Um, I actually might do a couple just because we're getting down to the wire here. It will be Halloween before you know it. So, again, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, I'll just talk to you guys later.